Hello, my name is Jessica Clemente. I am the proud executive, or chief executive officer of Miste Nos Quedamos. Nos Quedamos was established in 1993 as a community-led revitalization effort to declare we stay, we plan, and we develop, and we co-own our footprint of 35 blocks here in the Melrose Commons, a section of the South Bronx. The legacy of Nos Quedamos is around speaking up and speaking out around um, not just value, but sustainability and how we build out our community such that it's comprehensive, such that it takes into account not just the physical regeneration of a community, but how does it look when we talk about building a community as a whole, the people who are the center of why we do the work that we do. So you just look at the different channels in which community-led is, is seen in through not just the impact and the exposure, but in how do we define what that is um, how do we declare it in such a way where we're using data to be able to prove what the experience is and the advocacy. Taking that and aligning with um, the Institute of Sustainable Communities has been really an important game changer for us because not only has it built our capacity to be able to continue to do that work around community-led planning, around community-led advocacy, um, but it's also in a partnership that we've developed through ISC um, and the commitment to build our capacity to meet us where we're at, that there's not this expectation that we should be at some level, right? It's a about honoring um, our experience and elevating our voices so that um, our truth can be told. I used to live in the Nos Quedamos uh, development. Living in the Nos Quedamos development, I got to witness a lot of stuff. Like I got to see um, just a bunch of kids my age wasting their time getting straight into street activity. I got to see a bunch of just environmental injustices, like I'll be on a train and see a bunch of littering throughout the tracks, or just in the streets in general, especially Third Avenue here. So, you know, I came into Nos Quedamos. What I'm hopeful for when it comes to working with this organization is just a sense of, you know, knowledge for the generations to come and also for the generations that are already here. So working with ISC and the DEICC project, um, it gives more opportunity to network with people like me and people with more knowledge when it comes to this stuff. So it'll help organizations like Nos Quedamos implicate whatever you guys are working on or whatever uh, uh, stuff that we're missing in our work, we're able to implicate it into ours and better our work. How are we expressing our self-determination and what does that look like in different um, instances? Um, and so the partnership with ISC has really helped us with um, kind of putting that framework, that narrative into context so that we're able to build more energy and momentum around a construction um, capital project that we've been funded uh, through the state, uh, through the New York State Downtown Revitalization Initiative. This initiative um, will give us the opportunity to invest in blue-green infrastructure, um, solar canopy, stormwater management, and broadband communication hubs that we'll be able to locate in three um, sections of the South Bronx, including our headquarters. So when we look at the alignment of that physical construction and the work that we're doing with ISC is really to promote why this construction of these hubs are important, how will it impact, like how are we building the case, how are we showing the impact, and um, collectively identifying what more we can do to build the support uh, internally as an organization, collectively as a community, and then also nationally. Um, how are we elevating that experience so that we could um, be able to learn and share with others.